Sorry. Are we recording? Let's go. We are, right, okay. Uh, I'm here at Corner of the Wild with Beth Blade and Beautiful Disasters. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> sunshine. It's sunshining. You Rock did an amazing set earlier. Thank you. Thank you. It was awesome. It's, um, it's always worrying when you're on early at a festival. Yes. And you're like, there's going to be one hungover guy at the front. That was and me. I mean, if yeah. he's having a good time, then. Yeah. Fine. And I will rock out to that guy. But we had so many people turn up and they were so loud and they were all singing and yeah, yeah, fabulous. Brilliant. You're looking very wonderful. And Thank you. Do you know what? I've never had this happen to me, but there is another woman in the arena wearing the exact same cat suit. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw her, I waved to her and I was like, she was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got, to, I've got to find you later and get a picture. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. Um, we weren't going to touch on anything serious about music. So what do you want to talk about? Cheese. Jack and Coke, look at that. You had a kicking Valentina Jack and Coke. Was, not, was it Jack and Coke or Wild Turkey and Coke? Of course it was. Of course it's Jack and Coke. You can taste. Okay. 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 We love a Jack and Coke. But yeah, we're looking forward to seeing Kicking Val- Valentina yeah. later on. They're going to be fab. Yeah. They're really, really good. Cruel intentions. Yeah. And so much looking forward to Terrorvision. Now, Dan doesn't know who Terrorvision are because he's a baby. Sorry. Just get Get out. <laughs> get out. Go on. Go on. <laughs> and he does drink a lot of tequila as well, so I'm surprised he doesn't really? know the tequila song. But, um, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm ashamed. And we're staying tomorrow, looking forward to seeing Fury, our friend Becky's in, in, in them, and those yep. damn crows who yep. are old friends of ours. You know, it's, it's, it's fab sometimes, because you play in bands and sometimes people just blow up. Blow up. Yeah. And I remember... We did Wildfire Festival in Scotland in yes. like 2017, mm-hmm. and we played, and it was literally us, and then those damn crows came on after us. You've got to give up and, to those damn crows. They're, they're opening for um, Hollywood fan I know, it's on, awesome. On. I know. It's so in, cool. Well done. And uh, is, it, is it Lloyd with the blonde hair? I can't. I'm really bad with names. Oh, I can't remember. I spoke to him afterwards. And I was like, are you all right, mate? And he was just like, yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll, man. But yeah, it's awesome to see him headlining festivals and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to seeing Black Spiders as well. Yes. That should yes. be fun. Their new album it's is always, just amazing. Am I allowed to swear? You, of course you can swear. I'm just making sure. It's really, fun. It's really fun when a band invites you to swear at them. Fuck, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I actually cried real tears when they said they were splitting up a few years ago. Yeah, because they, they, so I got onto Black Spiders when they did the uh, Kiss Tried to Kill Me song. Yeah, of course, yeah. And um, obviously they disbanded, but they're back together now, so That's it's brilliant. Two wild. albums later, due for another hiatus, I suppose. <laughs> well, <maybe. laughs> you heard it here first. I think they might want to stick around this time, I'm yeah. sure. Maybe that's the key. Have a hiatus every five years. And... I can't. I mean, what, would you, what would you do with yourselves for five years? Exactly. Drink. Drink, yeah. <laughs> All right. With your liver agreeing to the job. I'd like to do a Shakespeare play. That's what I'd do. Okay, what well, Shakespeare play? I'd like to play Romeo in Romeo and Juliet. Okay. And also Lady Macbeth, just because my name is Beth Mac- yeah, Macbeth. Yeah, I can see how that fits. Um, I want to be a pirate. It'd be a pirate. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean? You're going to be a pirate, yeah. 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 Like what about you, Sam, Sam? Sam literally doesn't want to well, do anything other than drug work. Well, yeah. Sam will so, drop for anyone. So though. we did. A, just, yeah, I'd probably have my only fans. We were in a only fires, only fans. Yeah, I tried that and nobody turned up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a tough business. So Sam literally drums in his sleep. That's okay. how he does it. He he does, literally, yeah. he's, he like, he's like, he's like, he's like, it's literally. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. You know, he was hoping that he could have been in, the, you know, the new drummers for the Foo Fighters, but luckily it turned out well for us at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say that. You guys too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dave, well, you missed out on a good one here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so what are you doing in your downtime now? I mean, drinking. Well, apart from drinking, we've covered that a few times. Guys, I promise, they're not actually alcoholics. <laughs> like, yeah, we are. We really are. So, literally, yeah, other are, than yeah. our day jobs, yeah. just kind of drinking. I pretty much, and well, Mark over there, who's sort of in this interview, but not, hey, Mark. Um, Would you like to introduce yourself, Mark? Well, so. Hello, Mark. I'm just the dude. 
<laughs> it's just a dude. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> is, uh, Mark is merch guy, security, <laughs> tour manager, merch. anything you can think of, that's what he does. That, you, uh, you, you basically gave... make sure we turn up on time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, I, I love Dan's little blurb in the album, the thanks and the give the thanks and everything like that. Yeah. It says, and special thanks goes to Mark for being our personal alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is what it is. But yeah, no, yeah. we've literally, we've just started, we've got the what is going to be the opening track of the next album yeah. is done it'll be the first single as well but we just got to figure out when we're going to do that so you know we we dedicate a lot of our lives to the band other than that we really like our pets mm. oh, I love my go on then what pet have you got I have a staffy mm-hmm. and we love him. a cat and so they begrudgingly respect each other, but the dog is daft to the point where, like, if he sees him, he'll just hump him all day. Okay. He loves you. He loves me. I tell him to fuck off. No, I yeah. can't say that on tape. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't see what he's, he's a won. wonderful doggo, and he keeps me company in the week when I when I do my work. And he very much likes it when I sing. So if I sing, he'll come and sit next to me and just kind of like. Around, where, like, whereas the cat's like, oh fuck this, I'm going upstairs. Yeah, <laughs> didn't he put a record on and, and it like just completely. Yeah, worked. so we. Yeah. The dog is crackers. Like, mm. he's 10 years old and he will jump up and down and he, he just he's never. Like you think he's like a puppy, but he's 10. And um, we got a new vinyl player a while ago in lockdown and I put Crazy Crazy Nights by Kiss on the album but I did the thing where it made it chip monkey you know where you yeah. put the speed up yeah. and the dog sort of just went into a trance he sat there and then he just led down and he was like fixed him ah, we fixed him listen <laughs> to chip monkey Paul Stanley quite happy and that's the only way for him to remain calm and Dan has two kitty cats yeah. Yeah. Sam has a mental doggo called yeah. Buddy Absolutely you have loads of doggos I've got one doggo left now oh but I have uh, plenty of time with him. He's um, he should have he should have been gone years ago. But he's he's alive he's and kicking. And sticking funnily on. enough, he is from Wales, and his dog do look like little sheep. <laughs> yeah, Bedlington yeah. Terriers. Yeah. Bedlington Terriers. Don't get too aroused. They are um, they are mental. And literally, uh, so this weekend I've already done it twice. Mm. Where literally, just somebody's had a dog. I've got a dog, puppy, and I've got to play with the dog, and then no. realise that the person that's with the dog is somebody I know, and I've completely ignored them. Yeah, yeah, I do that all the time. To be fair, <laughs> we, love dogs. we love dogs. Yeah, I've got, I've I got ignored dogs. a famous person once as well because I was too interested in the dog. That was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's the famous person? Joseph have you, Gilgan. Have you ever seen Misfits? Yeah, he was in Emmerdale as well. But I don't watch Emmerdale. I don't, I don't watch Emmerdale. He was in Misfits. What was his character name? I can't remember. He's the bold guy. He's the one who can yeah. split into two. Yeah. He was two also. Uh, he's he got a proper in... northern accent. Yeah, was he the guy he's in. Um... He's in This Is England as well. Yeah. He played yeah. Uh, Woody. And literally, so like, we were stood outside of Forbidden Planet in Manchester going to the comic book shop because I'm a nerd. Yeah, of course. And I see this beautiful little dog and I start playing with love. And he's talking to the guy, so I, I assume yeah. that he knows him. So <laughs> whatever. And then we get home later, and he's Ooh. like, "I can't believe we met Joel Gilgan today." And I'm like, "What? Did we?" <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, he had the dog." And I was like, "Oh right, I, I was talking to the dog. I was not talking to the person." <laughs> Did you Comic Con? Or do you go to Comic Con? Um, I've never been to a Comic Con. I would love to go to one, mainly because um, dressing up it would be so fun. But we did go to a, a wrestling convention, right? Recently, and met. Kevin Nash, who is about seven Nine foot tall. <laughs> to be fair, anybody stood next to you looks about seven foot tall. I'm not oh. sure. Oh. I'm not sure. Oh. He's the yeah. shortest one. Stand up. Stand up now. Stand up now. Sure. He's the shortest. Yeah, you're short. Nah, Have you yeah. got heels on? We're about, we're about the same size. No, she's got heels on. Um, to, to be fair, I am I am more Comic heels. Con this year. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking to go into the one in Wales. Um, yeah, the Wales because Michael, I think Michael Rucker's going, and <coughs> Is I it? just Let's really want to go to see Michael Rucker. Hey, um, I'm rewatching Walking Dead at the moment. Uh, yeah. yeah. Are you excited for the new? Uh, the, uh, new yes, that's out next month, isn't it? Yeah. It Dead is. City. We're, Dead so, City. we're so off topic right now. Oh, yeah. Everybody out there, anybody who is a band, they're usually a massive nerd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my one of my daughters, um, stewards at Comic Cons in oh, London, really? whatever, so she gets to meet all the nice. guys. Looks that, like is, them. Awesome. that is awesome. Yeah, so um, I, I think I've got Crichton's autograph. Uh, Crichton! Oh, we love Red Dwarf. Yes. Robert Llewellyn. So yes. Yeah. So Go on, him. What's your biggest 
biggest fantasy nerd. Sort of. It's funny what I'm saying, Red Dwarf, actually. I sent you that video of me chalking Danny John Jules. You, you, did. <laughs> yeah, you did, to be fair. We don't generally go around chalking yeah, people. Just no, 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 no. He was, he was up but, for it. Uh, oh. See, for me, biggest, biggest if, I'm, if we're talking TV and movies, biggest fantasy is probably Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Ian yeah. McKellen. Yeah. I'd love to meet Ian McKellen. I'd also like to meet Neil nah, Gaiman. Vigo, Vigo Morrison. Right. Wonderful books. Vigo Vigo, I can't meet Vigo Mortensen. I, I, Why? Because I would run away with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Against his will. I'm taking Orlando Bloom, just for the for the hair alone. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, hair. but have, have you watched? Um, was it Carnival Row? Not he's yet. Got short it's hair. Must be good. I've seen clips. Mm. It is good. It is so good. Sam does not have a nerdy thing, but no. you no. Oh, you do. You just don't want to. He's a drum it. nerd. That's <laughs> the issue. So <laughs> Dave, Dave Grohl, and it would have been Taylor, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Uh, who's the best drummer then, ever? Taylor. <laughs> Out of all the drummers I've seen, Tommy Taylor <laughs> Hawkins is the top. Yeah, he yeah. was just something For else. Me, yeah, the yeah, fact, yeah, like yeah, you know, yeah. the fact we seen Foo Fighters live. RJ is, is pretty good from Hailstorm. Yeah. Uh, you know, John Fred from Blackstone Black Cherry. Yeah. Yeah. John Fred. I mean, so, to watch him do what he was yeah. doing yeah. and did it effortless. Well, just and he could sing as well. Could Taylor? He was a very good David Bowie. We we were we were actually all together on the morning that we found out, and I actually woke up because I heard his dad say. Taylor Hawkins yeah. died. Right. So it, it was weird because I woke up and the news was on and me and me that and was sa- that was Sound Bay yeah. Festival, then, you know, the first mm. Sound Bay Festival, and um, he was like, "What? You winding me up?" kind of thing. And then we got it together no, and we did a no. um, a cover of the Foo Fighters that night at Short Notice. And mm. It's sad that we're losing all these legends, but th- yeah. thankfully we have all the music yeah. that lives forever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's the one thing that everybody, every musician, would want is on their dream list is that you have a song that lives after you die yeah I, I mean I've got to say Cozy Powell's probably my oh, favourite well, yeah. drummer just uh, just the intro of Stargazer yeah yeah um, <laughs> then I haven't seen him just once live with Black Sabbath yeah it's just so my favourite drummer is Sam mm. well, of course Sam. yeah second favourite <laughs> My favourite drummer is Nicky D. Yeah. Nicky D. It might see, it might not be Eric Carr, but he's not with us yeah. anymore. So no, that's a cop out. Eric, how's it a cop out? Pick a live drummer. Well, Pick a live drummer. No, to be fair, Eric Carr's the uh, current drummer. kiss drummer. Eric Singer. He's Eric very Singer. good. He's I saw good. him with no. Gary Moore. Thing is, yeah, Eric he's, Singer. He's is, very good. Mm. Eric Singer could sack off kids and just become a stand-up comedian because he's so funny. He, he's really he funny. Is, yeah. Um, yeah. He's got a very British dry sense of humour. So that's, funny. For me and him on the cruise when I spoke to him, I for the half hour I spoke yeah. to him, it was brilliant because me and him were just trading barbs and he's, he's just got this hilarious. dry British humour. It yeah. works with me. We were very brilliant. lucky that um, so one night on the Kiss cruise when yeah. we were playing, we were in the artist area and. Um, so Brent, Brent Fitz, Brent Fitz, Fitz yeah. who plays Brent. drums with Slash mm. and a couple of other people, he was there and he was playing the piano. Right. And Eric Singer was there. Yeah. And we were just having a sing along and a and a jam and playing like Journey and Sticks and all these amazing songs and everybody was singing along. Uh, and there was a dude in the corner playing guitar and. Um, I went and spoke to him the day after, like, oh, it was nice to meet last night, out of interest, who are you? And he's like, oh, I'm a songwriter. And I was like, oh, do do you, like, write with rock and stuff like that? He's like, well, I work with Paul Stanley, which is why I'm here, Mm. but the song that I'm most known for is I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. And I was like, (laughs) (laughs) honestly, absolutely ridiculous. You never know who you're going to meet. That's the best thing about being a musician. Must be a dream come true on the cruise. 100%. A hundred percent. For Beth, it was. Yeah, I cried. Yeah, yeah. yeah on the way sure. on the boat, and then on the way off the boat, <laughs> and, and during the uh, acoustic sailing it show. Group. It's a dream for you because this is where I met these guys. So yeah, hundred yeah. percent. If it wasn't for that cruise, oh. yeah. we're going to be doing this interview right now. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, That's amazing. I don't Kiss, remember any Kiss of that cruise. No, I don't remember <laughs> much. I don't remember much. You know, I just, I just, you I got having. drunk. I, don't I got drunk and. And you know what? A shot of sambuca cost me thirteen dollars. 
I don't remember much of any of the It's five for a ten in here. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking to us. No, that's um, right. You know, without guys like you in the media and stuff like that, we wouldn't get out as, to as many people. And uh, we're very, very grateful. That's all right. Can I have one request? Yes. A shorter album yeah. title next time. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. Oopsies. I'll, make, I'll make sure of it. Yeah. Thanks. Is this be... No. I was I was going through a very expressive phase. I noticed. <laughs> but yeah, so first song for the next album opener is done. Right. It's gonna be heavy. Right. And um, yeah, we've got loads of gigs coming up. We're at Love Rocks next weekend. I think I'm there. Yeah. Yay! Awesome. See you there. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a little bit of a break in July, and then we're back at it. We're at the pub in Lancaster. We've got Noz Fest. Mm-hmm. We're playing acoustic at Rock Witch. We've got. Uh, New Wave Classic Rock Fest at KK Steel Mill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're supporting party, Hand of Dimes at the Tivoli and Buckley. And then we've got Heretic Fest in December with mm. Mother Vulture in Glossop. So, busy yeah. schedule. And hopefully, we'll see some of your lovely Thank listeners there. Thank you very much. Laden, beautiful disasters. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa.